guys, it's Dwight with Dwight Pours. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's a nice sunny day here in Baltimore. So I'm gonna go up in my studio in just a few minutes. I'm gonna mix some paints for a large pour that I'm going to be doing. It's gonna be on a 30 by 40 canvas, gallery wrapped. And I'm gonna be using colors of purple, blue, some cream, some white, and some red. Um, I'll show you in just a few moments and you can look at the paints with me. So I just wanna let you know that if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video, please feel free to subscribe. There's really no obligation. Um, the more people that subscribe, uh, the more people I can reach. Um, and like a video if you like my videos and or share and send to a friend. So anyway, sit back guys, and we're gonna get started here in just a moment. Um, what I'm hoping to do is that when I'm done with the painting, if I need to do any touch-ups, we'll go through and do the touch-ups before I show you the final dry results. Okay guys, hold on. Okay, here we are back in the studio and I am going to show you the paints I'm gonna be using today. Now, I mentioned before, this is a 30 by 40 gallery wrapped canvas and we are gonna be doing a dump and swirl today. Now for my paints, I'm gonna be using these colors here and I've got about 36 ounces and then I'm gonna have 24 ounces of my dump paint and the black over here is just a little extra to put on the corner because it's gonna be stretching a lot of paint. And I wanna make sure that the final corner has enough paint to cover it. So the red down here is Deco Arts and it is tomato red. The blue here is Folk Art Sapphire Blue. The purple here is a combination between Sapphire Blue of folk art and amethyst, so sort of a deep, rich purple. Then I have champagne by folk art. That's gonna go in between some layers. And I have some pearl white by Deco Arts Metallics. And again, that's gonna go through some layers. Now, um, I mix my paints all the same, including my dump paint. Um, I just used, and the dump paint, I used Artist Loft Soft Body Black but all the paints are mixed with um, about one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium, then water to thin it down. Okie dokie, so I am going to prep the edges in the corners and we'll set up the camera and we'll go ahead and do this pour. <laughs>
here we are back with the final wet walkthrough. I'm super, super excited. One of my favorite things of this painting, I have some glare up there, sorry about that. I love, look at all the streamers. I just think it just pulls you into the center. And then I have some up, up top as well. So yeah, this is beautiful. It's a 30 by 40 canvas. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go in through here and to highlight those cells just to make them pop a little bit more. Um, but not much else needs to be really done. I, I think this turned out really beautiful. Let me show you. So you can get a look at those streamers. See how they kind of just go in and they look like wisps. Yeah, I really like that. It really adds so much more to this painting. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, I wish it wasn't so bright outside so then I could get a better get a better picture here of my painting. So here's the other side of it down here with the streamers up at the top. Yeah, I think this is an awesome look. I'm very excited. So, yeah, I think um, what I'll do is um, I am going to touch this up before I show you the video. But by the time you're watching this, you'll actually be watching um, the video. So hold on. Uh, I'm going to go through and just do a time lapse touch up and let this dry. It's drying now. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I can't really get too close. A little bit of texture on the edges means that it's drying on the edges. That's good. Um, I have my um, radiator space heater to keep this room at a constant temperature so it doesn't get too cold or too warm. And um, this should dry very beautifully. And I will show you the dried results before we do touch-ups. Okay, guys, here we are. The painting is dry. And what I'm going to do is go in and highlight, again, the um, pearls, the cells around the negative space. So when I highlight them, what I usually do is I go in with the same color that I used. So like some of these over here, those are white or a light blue. So I'll just dot those in the middle. That purple has some of the pinkish in it, so I may highlight that. And then the blue over here. Um, yeah, so what it's gonna do is gonna brighten up everything in the middle. And then what I'll do is I will come back and I will show you the dried results. And um, that shall be it. Okay, there we have it. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a few seconds. I'm gonna set my camera up, clean up my workspace a little bit, and then we'll do a time lapse. And then we'll walk through. Okay, hold on. results with the touch-ups. So I'm really liking the color in this with the purples and the blue and the cream and um, whatever else I use, a little bit of white <laughs> So and the red. And um, yeah, so the blue and the purple seem to be predominant. There's a little hint of red in there, um, here and there, which is great. But I love, again, the movement down and around, sort of the wisps that go in around that negative space. So guys, here you have it. I hope you like it as much as I do. I can't wait to varnish it because most of these paints were done in, in metallics. So you know that's gonna make it shine and really brighten up. And um, who knows, maybe I'll show this one in New York City as well. Let's see how it goes. And um, 
yeah so guys thanks for watching feel free to subscribe like and share and if you have any questions either put them in the notes below or you can email me at dwightpours at yahoo.com and you guys have a great rest of your weekend